Hi, thanks very much for clicking on the video link. My name is Natalie Armstrong Moton with Marketing Resolution, and this is another in the series of idle chat for the American Bar Association's Section for Dispute Resolution. And today I get to talk to a colleague who is originally from Uganda, went to Pepperdine University in Malibu, California, but now lives in Dallas, Texas with her family. This is Joy Atkinson. Hi, Joy. Hi, Natalie. Nice. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for joining me. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Well, good, good, good. So, Joy, um, you mentioned before we hit the record button that not only had you previously seen an idle chat, but probably the majority of them, you went down the rabbit hole on YouTube and got stuck in idle chats. So I know you know how this goes. But for those of the viewers who uh, are seeing an idle chat for the first time, there's about 100, 120 questions written out on these cards, and we give them a shuffle here, and then we will see what the cards say that Joy and I will be chatting idly about. All right. Miss Joy, what is something that was common in your childhood but that might seem strange to today's generation. Well, I think commonly, <laughs> well, I've, I've had different cultures. I've had the Ugandan culture, now I'm living the American culture in my adulthood. So there's a lot of difference of how the kids were raised back in Uganda and back in our days and how the kids are raised now. I think growing up, our duty was to mostly help our parents. It was, it was pride and excitement to be able to do something or help around with work and chores and everything for your parents to, oh, she's a good girl. So the idea of goodness and hard working, I feel like it has changed over time. Back then, we were measured by how much work you do, how much agriculture stuff, how much you're helping around home, and how much that is how society viewed you being a disciplined child. Now, it's less about childhood, you know, chores at home and helping, and it's more about something else, which is interesting. So I, I feel like now the the children now have more autonomy and more authority over, more say over stuff. At back then, no, the parent was always right and the parent was always correct and had the last opinion. So we're more people pleasers back then. <laughs> right. No, I think you're right. I think that is a that's a big difference, and not just a cultural difference, but also a generational difference. Yeah, that's a big one. Uh, Joy. How many hours per day do you spend online? Hmm. Pretty much all the time. <laughs> I think minus the sleeping hours and the little time I spend doing chores and taking care of family, most of the time I'm online. I'm either doing some research or watching TV or social media or, you know, in some kind of way, I'll be online. It's just the modern world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Business and pleasure is all found online, so. <laughs> yeah, it, it takes up a good portion of our day. Uh, Joy, you've lived lots of different, very different places. Um, what is the best place to go for a walk? Hmm. I would say, I would say Uganda. I may be biased, but I, there's a lot of nature in Uganda. There's a lot of sightseeing. It's funny, I never appreciated it until I had to leave, to come to the US, then go back, then I, I appreciated it more that there's a lot of nature, there's a lot of green, you know. And I think one of our favorite things that I do with my husband now is walk in the park. 
well, that is, that was our first dating life, you know, we just used to take walks in the parks and stuff and it, it resonated a bit. So I feel like Uganda would be an ideal place because it's really green and it's tropical and it's neither too cold nor too hot in the day and time. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nature, I think you're exactly right. That's absolutely the best place. It could be the beach. It could be the, you know, the jungle. It could be the mountains, but outside, yeah. yeah. Um, Joy, what is your favorite way to get some exercise? Hmm, that's a good question. It's it's rare for me to exercise, especially now, but the best way would be probably dancing. You can do it without, you can do it having fun, you know? I'm, I may not say I'm the best dancer around, but I think that's a way to exercise without you actually exercising. So it's fun and rhythmic and you get your workout in if you get the right steps and stuff. So. I feel like mentally it will not appear as exercise because you're doing something fun and you're laughing and probably you're doing it with a group. So I would say dancing. Excellent, excellent answer, my friend. Next <laughs> question. Uh, what is the best ice cream flavor? Well, my go-to is vanilla. I watched the videos and most people kept saying chocolate and like, hmm. I'm not really a chocolate person. I mean, you know, but I don't, even sometimes when they're buying stuff, ice cream at home, I'm like, not chocolate, you know, deliberately, not cake, not nothing. I'm not a chocolate person. But vanilla is usually my go to. But I like interesting flavors like mango, <laughs> pineapple, pistachio, mint, which is. Yeah, there's no there's no right answer to that question. In my opinion, they're all good. Yeah, but vanilla is usually my go-to. If all right, all right. Let's see, Miss Joy. Um, is there if you are going to build a, a hotel, is there a theme that you would focus on? So, if you had an unlimited budget and you're being tasked with building a hotel, and it, and it had to have a specific theme, what theme would you build? A theme? Uh -huh. Oh, I think adventure. Because usually people come to the hotel and they want to relax. I think I'll do the adventure theme kind of, you know. Because I know, well, it's funny, but when people go to hotels, they either stay indoors or they want to take a look at the hotel. So something that is not usually at home, I would like to bring it, you know, something different. So I'll probably do a lot of adventures, a lot of things to look, to look forward to what to write home about. There you go. I like that experience. Yeah. Good for you. Um, Joy, is there something that always cheers you up? Cheers me up? Hmm. hmm. I think my go-to is music. It's funny that now I think about it. Now that I think about it, it looks like it's music. Every time I think I have a song for every occasion, or every emotion, every circumstance, every feeling. My sisters used to joke that you can tell how I feel by the kind of music I'm listening to at the time. Yeah because I, I tend to listen to more meaning than beat about a song. So my songs usually, my kind of music usually tell how I feel in the moment. All right, so it's environmental and you listen to the, the lyrics and the poetry more than the, the notes. Yes, which sometimes my family finds boring because sometimes the beat is dull, but I'm so engrossed in the meaning of the song. I'm like, do you listen to, like nobody cares about the lyrics, Joy. We want to dance, you know, but I'm so much into the lyrics and the meaning of that song, the creativity the artist put in, you know? Yeah, yeah. The, the story of it, yeah. Find it, yeah. That's right. Uh, Miss Joy, which do you prefer, cake or pie? Cake. 
no, there's just no room for pie, go right for the cake. There is, but I've recently discovered, well, pie was more American and I realized it's too sweet. I don't have much of a sweet tooth. So if I had to draw with both of them, I wouldn't really mind unless, well, coconut cookie is not too sweet. Pie is usually sweet, very, very sweet. So if it had, if I choose, then I'll go with cake. Cake it is. All right, then. Um, let's see. Next question, Joy, what is the, well, I've got a lot of food questions here. What is the spiciest food you've ever eaten? Hmm. I don't even have a spicy tongue, but spiciest food. Oh, one time I went to an, I think, Indian restaurant and I had um, chicken tikka. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. I like I like the chicken, but the whole idea of chicken tikka it has to have a little bit of spice. So there was no way I was going to avoid spice if I wanted chicken tikka. So I think that chicken tikka has been the spiciest food I've had, and I really had a glass of water next to me, but I enjoyed the meal. That's one of my favorite dinners. I love a good chicken tikka masala. Good choice, ma'am. Uh, Joy, when was the last time you slept more than nine hours? Oh, this is the time. <laughs> yes, because I've been back for like five months in the US. I don't have the work authorization yet. So most times I'm full-time housewife and I sleep and wake up to sleep again and wake up to sleep again and do, right. some, do some blogging too. So when I'm tired of sleeping, I write something down, you know? Yeah. Okay. That's a good schedule. And Joy, I'll ask you the same thing I ask every guest is the last question. And that is, what do you love most about the resolution industry? I think, you know, I have a litigation background. Then I went into dispute resolution. And one common thing I realized, and I, I, that made me make up my mind to do mediation or alternative dispute resolution was the look on the people's faces. You know, the fact that you've, you've done something that both parties are actually happy about or they're willing to shake hands about, that is satisfaction. And that gives me the urge to wanna help and help and help because I know at the end of the day, when they're happy, it is satisfying. So the feeling of satisfaction at the end of the mediation, whether it has been successful or not, even when it was non successful, it is at least amicable. You agree to disagree. But if it's a successful, you see everybody, you know, is excited. And it is, it is such an exciting thing to feel like you've been a part, you've been helpful, you've been a part of a situation where people couldn't figure out stuff and you help them figure it out and they got their aha moment and they come out of it happy. Everybody is a winner. So that is what gets me up every day, you know, to do this mediation thing. Yeah, it's an amazing feeling and a really, really lovely contribution that you make to the, to the, the greater world. Well, Joy, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really appreciate chatting with you idly. Thank you, Natalie. I'm glad we did this. It was exciting. It is fun. All right, Miss Joy Atkinson, you take care. You too. All right. <laughs>